This video will give a basic overview of the oil flow in this block, at least based on my understanding of it. So the oil comes up from the oil pan through this opening here. So oil comes up from the oil pan, enters into the oil pump, which is also in this area. This is what the oil pump looks like. I think this thing's got over 400,000 kilometers on it, and I think it's still in really nice condition. So gear drive, I think that's an excellent design. And over here on this end, for this idler gear, I think this is part of the oiling to lubricate the uh, the turning surfaces on in, inside here and then exits the oil pump and enters into this opening here and if I go on this side now that same light is visible here and also in this area is the oil filter adapter, the oil cooler, and the oil pressure bypass. This is the oil cooler. This cover goes over top of the oil cooler and it also has the oil filter adapter and also the uh, oil pressure bypass. Here's the back side of that. So when the oil is finished in this area then the oil exits into that opening and if I go to the other side now that same light can be seen down there so there's a oil passage that runs the length of the entire block and one end of it is here. Normally there would be this end would be blocked off. And same thing with this when the engine is assembled. And this end is supposed to be blocked off. And this one is blocked off already. So from this oil passage is fed the uh, rocker arms, and that is oil fed through these holes here, these passages. So if I take that light and insert it into here then can be seen that same light shining down there and I'll shine light over to the next one as well there so that's how the uh, rocker arms get oil So there's an opening here which also goes into that passage that runs the length of the entire block and normally there's a T-fitting in there and through this T-fitting is fed the vacuum pump and the injection pump with oil. Now the block is upside down and I've already been installing some of the block main bearings and so here's that main passage again, the one that runs the length of the entire block. So I'm going to show where that oil goes. So if I insert this rod into there, now that rod is visible here. So I'll lift up on it a bit. All of the block side main bearings have a groove. However, all of the cap side main bearings do not have a groove. So when these bearings are pressurized with oil, oil travels along those grooves and the grooves actually distribute oil to different locations. So this one distributes oil to the piston cooling nozzle. So each cylinder has a piston cooling nozzle and this smaller one here goes to a camshaft journal so all of the camshaft journals are lubricated the same way so I'm going to insert a paintbrush here and I will show that that goes to a camshaft bearing
This is a main journal and oil from one of those groove bearings can enter the crankshaft here or here. I have a rod stuck through there. I'm showing that it's drilled through. So there's five other main journals on this crankshaft that are drilled like that as well. So this is for a connecting rod bearing. And I can take this same rod, insert it into here where the uh, connecting rod bearing would go. And now that rod is visible here. So this is a main journal. So that's how oil would enter the crankshaft and get to this connecting rod bearing. And that process is repeated individually for the other five as well. This is the part of the video where there's not much talking. So this is one of the main journals and can be seen here is one of those cross drilled holes in the crankshaft is positioned in such a way that it's about halfway out of that groove bearing. So even in this position when the engine is in normal operating condition the engine is running the uh, oil pressure would still I think be able to get to that connecting rod bearing. So here on this side See, looks basically the same. So under normal operating conditions, the connecting rod bearing should always be able to receive oil pressure regardless of the positioning of the crankshaft and the orientation of those cross-drilled holes. These cross-drilled holes in the crankshaft would also be providing oil pressure to the main bearing caps. However, the front journal is not drilled. So anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.